step back in time to the era of classic cinema, where a certain movie from 1932 continues to hold a special place in the hearts of audiences even today. This timeless film has a captivating charm that transcends generations, offering a glimpse into the evolution of the entertainment industry. Released nearly a century ago, this movie still manages to capture the imagination of viewers with its compelling storyline and memorable characters. Its ability to evoke laughter, gasps, and tears speaks volumes about its enduring appeal. Do you have fond memories associated with this cinematic masterpiece? Perhaps there's a particular moment that left a lasting impression on you. Share your personal experiences and stories with us in the comments below. What is it about this film that resonates with so many people? Join us as we delve into the intricacies and unique qualities that make this classic a beloved part of cinematic history. Share your thoughts and reminisce with us about your favorite moments from this iconic movie. Your stories are what keep the magic of cinema alive. Stay tuned for more insights into this beloved film, and don't forget to share your memories with us. In a dimly lit city, a story unfolds about a serial killer terrorizing the streets under the moonlight. The movie, set in 1932 and directed by Michael Curtis, follows the journey of a doctor who devises a plan to catch the murderer, aided by a woman. While the performances of the main actors are captivating, some parts of the film feel worn out especially a section with unnecessary comic relief involving a reporter. As the plot progresses, it takes unexpected twists, introducing a peculiar group of characters that resemble an aged version of the X-Men. The Doctor, torn between family matters and the pursuit of the killer, faces challenges including encounters with an invisible man and interventions to save a woman from danger. Alongside this, transformations occur involving well-known characters such as Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, adding to the intrigue of the story. The movie, shot using two-strip Technicolor, presents a visually striking narrative that hints at deeper themes, although it doesn't fully explore them. Despite its shortcomings, the film retains its historical charm, reflecting the cinematic trends of its era. The narrative poses questions about paternal devotion and the lengths one would go to protect their loved ones. While older films like this one may lack the sophistication of modern cinematography, they still hold relevance in the realm of American cinema. Despite occasional flaws and absurdities, this cinematic piece from 1932 manages to make a lasting impression on the history of film. In the realm of classic cinema, there exists a timeless tale that has left an unmistakable imprint on the hearts of audiences. This story, originally presented in black and white, took audiences on a journey filled with mystery and allure. Over time, it evolved into something more than just a movie. It became a cultural touchstone celebrated through various adaptations and musical tributes. Following its initial release, the movie found its way onto screens in towns and cities captivating audiences with its narrative. However, it was in the bustling cities that the film truly came to life, adorned with vibrant colors that enhanced its charm. Amidst this cinematic success emerged a musical homage, a song that delved into the narrative of the film and paid tribute to its captivating lead actress. As years passed, the echoes of this cinematic gem continued to resonate, sparking discussions and tributes across generations. Its influence extended far beyond its original release, leaving an indelible mark on the fabric of film history. The enduring appeal of the movie, coupled with the musical tribute, ensures that its legacy lives on, reminding audiences of a bygone era filled with intrigue. In conclusion, this tale stands as a testament to the timeless power of storytelling in the world of cinema. Its journey from humble beginnings to widespread acclaim, coupled with the musical homage, solidifies its place in the annals of film history. In the early 1930s, a play debuted on Broadway, capturing the attention of many with its thrilling story. This success led Hollywood to adapt it into a film starring Faye Ray, recognized as one of the early stars of horror cinema. She played a key role in several Technicolor thrillers of that era. The film utilized existing sets cleverly, adding authenticity to its scenes without requiring extensive construction. Such resourcefulness was common in filmmaking during that time, allowing filmmakers to create immersive worlds without breaking the bank. Ray's performance, alongside talented actors like Lionel Atwell, brought the story to life, captivating audiences with its thrilling plot and compelling characters. This adaptation left a lasting mark on the industry, solidifying its place as a classic of its time. In one of Warner Brothers' early ventures, they defied Technicolor's directive by shooting both a color and black and white version of the film. 
The color version, helmed by Ray Renahan, prioritized superior compositions, capturing notable scenes such as Lee Tracy and Me Bushy's encounter in the House of Prostitution and Tracy's chilling experience in the skeleton room. Lionel Atwell, making his debut in a major film, delivered a memorable performance. Director Michael Curtis famously remarked, this will make your blood curl, capturing the essence of the eerie atmosphere he aimed to create. The original Technicolor version of the film was lost for years until it was discovered in the private collection of studio head Jack L. Warner after his death in 1978. It was then restored by the UCLA archives. Dr. X was one of the early films shot using the improved Technicolor 2 strip process 3. This process improved color and clarity, but it was expensive, leading Warner Brothers to abandon it, along with other studios. Prior to Dr. X, Manhattan Parade was the first Warner Brothers film to use this technology. Despite its advancements, the format didn't fare well at the box office. Warner Brothers paid $5,000 for the rights to adapt the play into a film. Filming for Dr. X took place on Laguna Beach. Fay Ray recalled her experience working with Michael Curtis, mentioning his habit of pacing in front of the actors during lunch breaks to unsettle them, a tactic he also used in another film, Mystery of the Wax Museum. The antagonist in the film is known as the Moon Killer, with references to a series of cannibalistic murders, likely inspired by the notorious Albert Fish, also known as the Moon Maniac, whose crimes occurred during the film's era. In a memorable scene, the main character jokingly calls the cat house piano player Rachmaninoff and asks him about the prelude. In response, the piano player flawlessly performs Rachmaninoff's famous prelude in C-sharp minor. This unexpected display of musical talent adds depth to the character and provides a moment of unexpected beauty amidst the film's suspenseful narrative. Such moments of humor and skillful execution contribute to the overall richness of the movie, showcasing the talents of its cast and crew in crafting an engaging cinematic experience. In a chilling tale of mystery and horror, a shocking revelation unfolds when it's discovered that a scientist's disfigured face is the result of a horrifying medical experiment gone wrong. This moment adds a tragic layer to the already dark narrative, leaving audiences both unsettled and captivated. Directed by Michael Curtis, the movie delves into the unsettling world of a medical research institute plagued by a series of murders. As suspicions rise, an intense investigation ensues to uncover the truth, with the possibility that the killer may be one of the institute's own scientists. Throughout the film, tension escalates as investigators race against time to identify the culprit before more lives are lost. With its eerie atmosphere and unexpected plot twists, the movie keeps viewers on edge until the climactic conclusion. Noteworthy for its innovative use of Technicolor, which adds a vivid and unsettling quality to the visuals, the film stands out as a groundbreaking work in the horror genre. Released over 90 years ago, it remains a classic of early horror cinema, revered for its suspenseful storytelling and memorable imagery. Its influence continues to resonate in modern horror films, making it an essential viewing experience for fans of the genre. In an unexpected turn of events, an unsettling detail about a classic 1932 film has surfaced, shedding light on the departure of a talented actor from the horror genre. Despite delivering a commendable performance in the movie, the actor, known for his ability to play various roles, never ventured back into the chilling world of horror on screen. This departure remains a somber footnote in the history of the film. As the story unfolds, it takes viewers on a journey into the unsettling realm of a mad scientist whose unethical experiments blur the lines between science and immorality. Directed with skill by Michael Curtis, the film delves into the darker aspects of human experimentation and the consequences that follow. The impact of the movie on the horror genre is evident, offering a glimpse into the fears and anxieties of its time. The eerie atmosphere, coupled with a gripping plot, ensures the film's lasting presence in classic cinema. The use of light and shadow enhances the suspense, captivating audiences then and now. In summary, this movie stands as a testament to the craftsmanship of its creators, leaving a lasting impression on the horror genre. The poignant detail of the actor's departure adds an extra layer of emotion to the cinematic gem, making it essential viewing for those interested in classic filmmaking. Crafted with precision and executed with finesse, the film remains a milestone in cinematic history.